Bonus book number two is Zagazoo by Quentin Blake. Once upon a time, there was a happy couple. Their names were George and Bella. They spent their days making model airplanes, dusting, eating strawberry and vanilla ice cream. One day, the postman brought them a strange-looking parcel. They unwrapped it together. That's how I wrap my Christmas presents. Inside, there was a little pink creature, as pretty as could be. On it was a label which said, its name is Zagazoo. How lovely it was. George and Bella spent happy days throwing it from one to another, as parents do. Zagazoo was not quite perfect, but his happy smile seemed to make up for that. And George and Bella went on happily, throwing him to each other higher and higher. It was a wonderful life. And then one day, George and Bella got up in the morning and discovered that Zagazoo had changed into a huge baby vulture. Its screeches were terrifying. They were even worse at night. What shall we do, said George? How can we stand it? But then, they got up one morning and discovered that Zagazoo had changed into a small elephant. He knocked over the furniture. He pulled the tablecloth off the table. He ate anything he could lay his trunk on. This is awful, said Bella. How can we cope? But then... One morning they got up and discovered that Zagazoo had changed into a warthog. He rolled about in anything that he could, like mud, and ran about the house. This is dreadful, said George. There's just no end to it. But then... They got up one morning and discovered that Zagazoo had changed into a small, bad-tempered dragon. He scorched the carpet. He set fire to the sweater of a neighbor who had come to sell magazine subscriptions. This is terrible, said Bella. It's no... In no time he'll... Ugh. In no time he's going to burn the house down. But then... They got up one morning and discovered that Zagazoo had changed into a bat that hung onto the curtains and wailed. And then the next day, he was a warthog again. And then some days he was the elephant. And some days he was the bad-tempered dragon. This is driving us crazy, said Bella. If only he'd stay one thing. But then, one morning they got up and Zagazoo had changed into a strange, hairy creature. Oh no, said Bella. I preferred the elephant, or even the warthog, said George. Every day the creature grew bigger and hairier and stranger. Suppose it never stops, said Bella. I can't bear to think about it, said George. It's turning my hair gray already. What will become of us? But then... One morning, George and Bella got up and discovered that Zagazoo had changed into a young man with perfect manners. 
Let me get you a chair, Mama, he said. And let me get you both some breakfast. And if there are any odd jobs that need doing, let me know. Zagazu soon made friends with a young woman named Mirabelle. They found that they were both interested in motorcycle maintenance. Who isn't? Flower arrangement. And eating fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. It was not long before they knew that they wanted to spend the rest of their lives together. But when they went to tell George and Bella, they discovered that they had changed into a pair of large brown pelicans. You could tell they were pleased by the news from the way that they clattered their beaks. Isn't life amazing? <laughs>